Now in this video we're looking at tension. Now tension can simply be understood as the force exerted by a rope or a string or a wire. What you may also think of is that it's the force that exists inside of the string, the rope or the wire. Okay, so let's have a look at a few examples. Okay, the first example I want to look at is uh, apple hanging in a tree. Okay, so there's an apple hanging in a tree. And one thing that you'll notice about this apple is that it is stationary. It is not moving at all, which means that it is connected to a branch Okay, and since it is connected to a branch, it is not falling. If it's not falling, it means its acceleration is equal to zero. Okay, no acceleration. Now, what are the forces that are acting on the apple? Or, what is the force that is being exerted by the string? In this case, it's the actual stem of the apple is the string that we are looking at, that actual stem. What is the force that it exerts on the apple? Well, let's just look at the point where it's connected. Okay, at that point. What are all the forces acting on that point? Well, we know that there's definitely a downwards force because of the weight of the apple. Okay, so let's say the apple weighs one newtons. Now, it's not falling which means that this one newtons is being almost contradicted. Uh, there's an opposite force of the same magnitude but in the opposite direction. Okay, And that is the force that is being exerted by the stem. So this would be the tension in the stem. And that tension would equal one newtons, simply in the opposite direction of the weight. Okay, so that's a very simple example. So let's increase our the difficulty of our example. So imagine someone pulling on a rope. Okay, so here we have someone pulling very hard on a rope. Okay. Okay, but let's imagine as he's pulling, whatever he's pulling at is not moving. Okay, so in other words, the point where it is connected to some object, let's imagine he is trying to pull a massive rock. Okay, he's got his rope tied around a massive rock. and that rock is not budging. Okay, What is the tension in this rope? So all we need to do is consider the point where it is connected, there it is connected, and asking ourselves what forces are being applied at that point. Okay, So let's say he's pulling at a massive um, 700 newtons. Okay. He's putting 700 newtons of force into this pull. Now, that means that at this point, there's a 700 newtons being applied by the rope. Okay, it's not moving, which means that in the opposite direction, there's also a 700 newtons of friction in this case. But the tension in the rope, the force that is being exerted by the rope is 700 newtons. Okay, still a very easy example. Now, what if this object changes? What if instead of pulling on a uh, big boulder like this, he was pulling on a car? Okay, what if on this end there was a car? Or someone else pulling, a person? also pulling in the same in the opposite direction but it wasn't moving what would the tension then be well the point remains the same if the person is exerting 700 newtons in the one direction but the 
object is not moving it means there is no acceleration to that object so the resultant force is equal to zero okay. the resultant force is equal to zero which simply means that the only force we need to consider is the one that is being applied by the rope okay so let's look at an example where things are actually not as simple where we actually have acceleration a very good example of that is an elevator okay a very common example of this is elevators okay so imagine this elevator and imagine that it is being held by a cable and it is standing still well now th the scenario is not much different than the one with the apple so for example all we need to consider is the weight and when we've considered the weight we know that the tension in the rope or in this case in the table is simply equal to the opposite of the weight because it's the same magnitude but just in the opposite direction okay that would be the tension in the cable but now what if it was heading upwards okay so that that's not true let's assume it has an acceleration that is upwards well if it has an acceleration that is upwards it is somehow being pulled up now there's different possibilities it can maybe be pulled up by an engine okay or a person if a person can be that strong just like someone pulling on that wire bringing this thing up okay or it can maybe even be um, pulled up by another weight what do I mean by another weight well you can imagine if it did something like this so on this side we have a very heavy weight that is heavier than the or has a weight that is larger than the elevator and that necessarily pulls the elevator upwards okay again it does not matter what is on that side all we need to consider is where this is connected and what is happening to that point or well, what is happening to that point it has an acceleration that is not equal to zero and it is heading upwards so just as an example it's heading upwards so now what we know is that there is a resultant force there is a net force on this thing let's go down a bit okay so now we know that there is a net force and where does this net force come from well this net force is the result of taking the force applied in other words the force applied by the engine okay plus the weight now you would say isn't it minus weight then I'll say no no okay weight will in any way be negative okay we only need to calculate force applied and weight will in any way be negative because it's in the opposite direction so I'm not going to change the negative here here it's still positive okay so we have the force applied and this is what we're trying to work out what is this force that is being applied okay because it's being applied by the rope which is exerting the force on behalf of the engine okay so how do we work out the force that's applied well let's call it tension anyway so let's call it t and we need to solve t now t will be equal to the net force minus the weight so i subtracted weights on both sides okay how do we calculate the net force well, from um, Newton's second law, we know that the net force is mass times acceleration. Okay, so the mass of the elevator and its occupants times the acceleration that it is experiencing upwards in our example. Okay, minus the weight. Now, how do we calculate weight? Well, weight is simply mass times gravity. Okay, gravitational acceleration. Now, with that in mind, we can simplify this a little bit. So we can say it is mass times acceleration minus gravity. And what I want us to do is just to look at this formula um, briefly. So we have the formula that tension is equal 
to acceleration times the sorry and not acceleration the mass times the acceleration minus the gravitational constant okay or gravitational acceleration so we said that acceleration is upwards just for the example but we're going to look at both scenarios just now what I want you to notice is that here we have two vectors that's being subtracted we have the upward acceleration and we have the downwards gravitational acceleration but we are subtracting vectors now what do we do when we subtract vectors well we take the first one just as it is okay now we subtract the gravitational acceleration so whatever that gravitational acceleration is is being subtracted but what do we do when we subtract a vector we turn it around okay and add it so now we have our acceleration that was upwards plus and now you see we s turn this one around now they're both in the same direction because I subtracted it so what what happens okay put them head to tail so if I put them head to tail I'll put this one at that one's tail this one's head at that one's tail so I have that one's head that one's tail and now my result is this okay that's my result and if I multiply this result with the mass I get my tension so what did you see what happened to the tension well the tension is now quite large because acceleration upwards is in the opposite direction of the gravitational acceleration downwards which I hope you can conclude with me that when something is being pulled up with an acceleration if something is being pulled up with an acceleration the tension in the cable will be more than when it's just at rest okay it should make a little bit intuitive sense so if we were to look at an example with values in if I was accelerating upwards at 2 meters per second and just for to make this simple our downward gravitational acceleration was 10 meters per second squared sorry that should also be squared and the mass was um, let's say 10,000 newtons more or less um, probable for a uh, elevator then what would the tension be well tension will be mass times acceleration minus gravitational acceleration now let's take upwards as positive so that must be negative so we take mass is 10,000 acceleration is upwards at 2 gravitation is now minus and it's negative negative that's why it changes direction negative 10 so what do we get we get 2 minus minus 10 becomes plus 10 that would be 12 times 10,000 gives me 120,000 newtons okay that is now the tension in the cable and as you can see it's much more than it would have been if we were simply holding this cable if it was well not much more if we were simply keeping the elevator at a constant level or a constant acceleration uh, sorry a constant velocity uh, there would have been no acceleration and this would have simply being t is equal to 10,000 times 10 which would have been 100,000 okay but because we want to accelerate upwards we need that additional tension in that rope to actually cause the upwards uh, acceleration okay how about if it was now heading downwards so in other words if my acceleration let's look at the acceleration being um, two meters per second squared but downwards so now I'm traveling downwards so let's take downwards as pos positive then gravitational constant is also allowed to be positive so if downwards is positive okay what do we have we worked out the tension in this um, up and downward moving um, scenario is equal to mass times acceleration minus gravitational acceleration where mass is equal to 10,000 Okay. acceleration is equal to 2 gravitational acceleration is equal to 10 
So I get that 2 minus 10 is equal to 80,000. Okay, 2 minus 10 is equal to negative 8 times 10,000 is negative 80,000. Why negative? Because the cable is exerting an upward force, okay, to avoid this thing from falling down. It's trying to counter the fall um, and only let it down at a slower acceleration. So this is what we get. Negative 10,000, obviously also Newtons because it's a force. Okay, negative 80,000 is the tension exerted by that cable. Well, I hope I didn't completely confuse you, but actually um, that you have a good, fair idea of what tension is. We'll see you in the next video.